Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So this is kind of a quick little PSA for all you folks out there that purchased the beta FPV micro module, the full size one, this guy here with the OLED screen on the back of it that everybody hates and loves all at the same time. Uh, Express LS 2.0 is out of release candidate and it does have support for the OLED screen on the back. If you are on the original firmware or if you flash to a newer version that didn't have the OLED screen, now is the time to go ahead, update your module to version 2.0. Keep in mind, though, that if you're using a, uh, a WHOOP with, with a SPI built-in uh, ELRS receiver, those are not compatible unless you flash the pre-compiled hex that's available on GitHub on the Express LRS uh, page. The firmware for the SPI receivers is built into the Betaflight code that comes every time you update Betaflight. You know that thing that you shouldn't be doing if you don't know what you're doing? That thing. Uh, 2.0 is not compatible with 1.0, and 1.0 is not compatible with 2.0. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Nah, anyways, we're not going to go down that road. But anyways, this is the time to do it. You do get the OLED display back. You get the bug fixes. Uh, it doesn't seem like the joystick is implemented yet, but you still get the readout where you get your power, your telemetry ratio, and you also get your update frequency. And, uh... That's it. So I'm going to walk you through how to do it right now. Make sure you download the latest Express LRS configurator and go ahead and pop that baby open. Go into your Lua script on your radio and go into the Express LRS Lua script on your radio and select Wi Fi. Make sure you connect to your Wi Fi network. You can also do this over USB if you choose to, but I prefer to do it over Wi Fi. And uh, the password for your SSID is going to be Express LRS, all lowercase. And once we connect to that, we're going to go into the configurator. Make sure we select 2.0, beta FV, 2.4 gigahertz. And we're going to go to the 2400TX micro. I'm doing this over Wi-Fi. If you're connected to uh, USB, go ahead and tickle that UART button down there. And I'm going to do standard everything. I'm just going to leave this all the same. It does have the ability to connect to your home Wi-Fi network so you don't have to do this two-way communication ad hoc thing like we've had to do up till now. So that's an option in there if you want to do that. The rest of this just stays the same. We're going to hit build and flash. This may take a few minutes depending on if you've done this before, uh, what libraries it needs to download. The configurator is Pulling files from the cloud right now. Sometimes it takes a minute. And there you go. Your module is updated. Make sure you click this button down here and download the Lua script. Take that Lua script and copy it to your scripts tools folder in your SD card contents. And uh, make sure you're using the new Lua script. You can go ahead and delete the old one, if you, especially if you only have one Express OS module. Go ahead and get rid of that old one. All right, folks, that's the easy way to update your beta FPV micro module to the latest version of Express LRS. No fuss, no muss. We know we have the update, the most updated code. We have most of our functionality back. The joystick still doesn't seem to do anything. I think that's coming down the road. I, I remember my rep saying 2.1 is when that's going to be implemented. We'll see what happens. All right, folks. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, like, subscribe, click the links in the bottom, help me out. And uh, let me know what you think of this module. Let me know if this worked out well for you or if it did not. Remember, you got to go and update all your receivers now because, uh, you know, FR Sky reasons. Wait, no, uh, because of uh, coding reasons. So, all right, folks. Have a good one. And as always, stay positive.